Question 74 here, uh, chapter 2, it says a wind turbine is rotating at 15 rotation per minute under a steady wind flowing through the turbine at a rate of 42,000 kilograms per second. The tip of velocity of the turbine blade is measured to be uh, 25 kilometers per hour. If 180 kilowatts power per is uh, supported, determine the average velocity of the air and B, the conversion efficiency of the turbine. So take the density of air to be 1.31 kilograms per meter cubic. Okay, so this one is a little different than the usual one we're doing because, you know, the usual one would just have like the air density and then times the uh, kg per second and then times uh, the g times uh, uh, i mean that's basically it yeah mgh yeah and then you times the h and whatnot that's like uh, the pump uh, water pumping examples and stuff like that so this one is a little little different all right and you know Usually it's hard to, to get even started because yeah, okay, we have kg per second, but like what shall we do? So usually for uh, wind turbines, we usually try to consider velocity, right? That's usually the one we would try to work to. And for pumping waters is usually potential energy and so on and so forth, right? So it's, it, and this one really tests your like knowledge on you know, geometry and manipulating uh, units. So how we get started is that, okay, we know the tip of the velocity is 25 uh, kilometers per hour, right? And let's translate this into uh, meter per second. So this per 3,600, right? And we translate that um, into, it's about uh, 69.4 uh, meter per second. Uh, about give and take so now remember this so rotation and tip of the velocity right so when we look at these together somehow in your brain you should start building a connection and then uh, once you well let's uh, translate a 15 rotation per meter uh, per minute into uh, per second Right, so it would be 60 seconds. Now this would be uh, one over four uh, rotation per second. Okay, so now you look at this: a rotation, a full rotation, it gives you a distance, right? And distance is an important factor of doing work, right? Force times distance give us work. Now, even though. It might not be in that direction, but it's something, right? It helps us get started. Now, rotation and a full rotation is what we're trying to do because once we have a, a, a full rotation, which gives you the uh, circumference and then it gives you the diameter and then it gives you the rad radian, radius and then it's going to give you the area of the entire, of the, of the um, cross section of the wind turbine, right? And uh, so this is rotation per second. So if we use 69.4 meters per second divided by uh, 1.4 rotation per second, what is, what is that going to give us? It's going to give us the circumference of the wind turbine, right? Because you see, this is the tip of the, tip of the speed. And we say, okay, one second is going to rotate one over four. So a full second, and we fit this speed, right? This times second give us minute, I mean uh, meters. A full rotation, right, times four, or divided by one over four, which is time four. And it gives you the whole circumference, which uh, it should give you, let's see, where did I write it? Uh, 277, right? Something like that meters and this is the uh, circumference right this whole thing over here all right 277 
and with the diameter we can definitely figure out the uh, area real quick right I hope you guys understand what I did over here right the diameter divided by pi gives you I mean sorry the circumference divided by pi gives you diameter diameter half is radius radius square pi r times pi gives you the area okay and this should uh, give you 6140 give and take meter square okay and that gives you the area fantastic now oh we're working on question a so the next part is uh, going to be figured out so now we have the area and what we want to do is find out velocity right and velocity is a meter per second now look at anything else that has that right we got kg per second and we got kg uh, per meter square right and we got a meter square right from the area see you, you, you can see what, what's going on with the units here here and here right we want to cancel the kg yet we want to keep the m with a s and 3 minus 2 is 1 so somehow these three connection uh, these two will give us the velocity right and it turns out so we first have to use the 42,000 uh, kilograms per second and this is I mean it's kind of like just manipulating and playing around right uh, if you first starting it it's, you know it would be kind of lucky to be able to see it at first sight but uh, it's gonna take some time all right it's not a, a simple question you can just think it on top of your head so uh, this divided by the air resistance I mean no, sorry the uh, density uh, it's gonna give us volume right well it's gonna give us a volume per second because uh, kg per meter cubic all right which is pretty good because uh, meters cubic times area give us a meter over a second right uh, now we're still using the meter cubic right over a second and uh, this is going to let's see plug into your calculator what did I get uh, 42000 divided by 1.31 uh, it's going to give you 32,061 uh, meter cubic per second right and if you use this number times uh, uh, divided by my bad divided by the area uh, which is what we calculated over here 6140 a meter cubic and so this is part where it kind of like requires you to think backwards because an area times a distance you see that's going to give you the the volume right the volume of the amount of square I mean the volume of the amount of air and then you times a density by it it's going to give you kg right excuse me and kilograms times velocity square over to that's going to give you joules right or kg per second that's going to give you power this, you see the connection that you know this one is really like testing your knowledge and uh, to be able to figure this out backwards right so now we have these two numbers uh, we're going to divide them by each other and uh, it, it should gives you uh, 5.228 uh, meter per second and that is the uh, velocity of the air right so now we have the average velocity remember it's average velocity uh, we have to figure out the efficiency now the efficiency is the um, how much is provided right it says 180 kilowatts is provided so that is energy in I remember energy uh, useful sorry energy like supplied uh, divided by energy useful is the efficiency right efficiency so useful one is the one that we actually like being used which is uh, you know uh, we're gonna, we just calculated the velocity over here so it's going to be uh, meter square uh, meter over s squared uh, times the kilometers 
sorry, what am I doing? Uh, times this, uh, 42,000 kg per second, right? And then times a half. Okay, so kg per second and then times a half. That's going to give us the kinetic energy uh, of this turbine, right? And these are the ones, like, this is what's being, like, generated, right? The mechanical output. And, um, wait, sorry, my bad. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the energy that is uh, being used. Right, like this is the mechanical energy that is the the, the, the rotation of the turbine, and uh, by rotating uh, we get energy. Right, we we get energy to be able to to be able to utilize that, and um, that it has been listed over here. This is the outcome. Right, so first uh, let's calculate these uh, numbers over over here real quick. So the speed square times four two zero 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 uh, divided by two, right? And this is going to give us uh, this amount of energy, fifty uh, five hundred seventy four uh, thousand and six uh, and seven uh, joules per second, right? And we have uh, one hundred and 80 kilowatts that is being uh, provided, so generated by the uh, wind turbine, right? This is also watts. Uh, it's going to give us the efficiency, right? This is what we got out of this wind, wind turbine, and this is how much the energy is uh, done onto the turbine, right? So, uh, in the end, you should get one eight zero 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 divided by answer. You should get uh, thirty one point three six percent, right? Around that area, plus or five, plus or minus five percent. Okay. So, yeah, this one is is. Well, obviously, it's the last one uh, in the book, so it's, it's pretty challenging. They give you a challenging one. Uh, hopefully, your professor uh, didn't put this on the exam because it, it, you have to be pretty, pretty fluent uh, in the energy efficiency plus um, work done by work. Uh, I mean, energy done by work and uh, energy transfer by work, right? Especially these two areas and mechanical uh, work as well. But yeah, uh, hopefully this was helpful and I uh, hope that I went into details and went into step by step because, you know, I went up line and I went up a line and checked how like uh, other uh, institutions, like the answer is it's not really clear, like a lot of simplifications of steps. So hopefully this was uh, uh, detailed enough that was helpful and uh, helped you understand the question. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.